Hello, my name is Joyce Harper and I'm Professor of Reproductive Science at the Institute for Women's Health at University College London. And I've been teaching embryology since 1996. I was Director of Education for over 25 years and it's been a real pleasure in my career to educate so many people who have gone on to fantastic embryology careers. So with Alpesh Doshi many years ago, we had been running a number of workshops, especially on embryo biopsy. And we were asked by many people if we could offer an online distance learning education program on the theory of what embryologists need to know for their clinical work. So we set up the certificate in clinical embryology. And we started this about five years ago before online learning was really so popular. And we had been using a platform that um, I think now has become slightly out of date. So we're very pleased today to be relaunching our certificate on a new platform, which is much slicker and really uh, efficient at delivering our education. So today I want to tell you about the certificate and briefly show you how the new platform works. And it's a great pleasure to have on board now Keshav Mahalta, who is a dynamic educator in this field. He's been doing a lot of education as we have um, mainly based in India. And it's really great to have uh, Keshav on board to relaunch and to work with us on our new program. So this is the syllabus of the certificate in clinical embryology. And this has really come out from the education programs we've been running in my university and being really aware of what embryologists should know. So the first four modules are really the nitty gritty of embryology. So we start with the lab, then cryopreservation, genetics and pre-implantation genetic testing, and lab design and quality assessment. And then we move on to four modules that are probably a little bit to the side of the routine lab work, but I think really important. So we will talk about new technology and ethical considerations in ART, the clinical aspects, gametogenesis and pre-implantation development, and finally, reproductive health. So I'd like to introduce the faculty that we have, and we really have some of the world leaders in these areas giving the talks on our modules. So we are really pleased by the quality of the education that you will receive. So here we have the uh, module one from um, the laboratory from gamete to embryo. And this is our largest module because this really is the fundamentals of what embryologists need to know. And for some of you, there may be topics here that you feel you know about. I would still listen to these talks. I think everyone will learn something. I, I've really learned so much from doing this. And I started as a clinical embryologist back in 1987. So um, it's a really great opportunity to hear the basics and to, to pick up new ideas. So I won't go through all of these, but you can see that we're going to talk about culture media, semen assessment, the lab aspects of IVF and ICSI, and then really what the embryologists need to think about. Uh, from the egg collection, the PN check, blastocyst, scoring, the embryo transfer procedure. And then we will talk about some of the new technology, such as assisted hatching and time lapse. So as well as videos of the talk, we'll, we also have a written text of the talk, but we have also done some demonstrations. So in Alpish's lab, in his clinic, we have done some mock-ups to show you a little bit more. For example, introduction of the IVF lab, and Alpesh has got a new purpose-built lab that he designed, so it's a great model for you to look at. And we'll show dem demonstrations of sperm prep, the egg collection, etc. Module two is on cryopreservation. And I really much remember back in the 80s when I was in clinical embryology that it, um, when, I, when we were doing embryo freezing, I was really aware that it was something that I really felt I needed to know the, the fundamentals um, and the principles of this procedure. We, we knew how to do it, but what did it all actually mean and how did it work? So I think this is a really important module. And Barry Fuller is an absolute uh, genius in this. He will give you, it's, it's, he's a very long lecture. We've separated it into two. Um, you'll really learn something listening to Barry. You might have to listen to it a couple of times. It's, uh, it's quite heavy, but it's really important. Um, Steve is going to talk about sperm freezing, and then we have um, the two experts in egg and embryo freezing, uh, Anna and uh, Laura, um, and then Richard about ovarian tissue, Appa about the freeze-all cycles, and Weil about um, the uh, transfer, the clinical aspects 
of getting a patient ready for a frozen thaw cycle. Module three is something very special to me. Obviously, I've been working in pre-implantation genetic testing since uh, 1992. I always lose a few years when I think about dates. Um, so I'm giving quite a few lectures on this module. And we really want to start this by teaching you some basics about genetics. Um, I didn't do genetics as an undergrad and I've really learned along the way. So it's really important to share this knowledge and to make sure you understand those building blocks to really understand how PGT works. And then we've got Darren and Alpesh giving you some lectures. And then uh, Georgia, I'm sure everyone knows her, her work on embryo biopsy. And then of course the legend Alan Handyside um, and Roy who worked with us for many years and now is doing a lot of clinical work on the lab side. Um, and then we're going to move into prenatal diagnosis. And we've got a brilliant team, Agaliki and Sarah telling us about that. Karen talking about the genetic counselling aspect, which is really important to understand what we need to tell the patients. And then I'll talk a bit about the future. Module four is about lab design, quality assessment and troubleshooting. And I appreciate you may never build your own lab. I've built two labs actually, uh, but um, understanding how you should do this from scratch, I think it's really important. And obviously quality, quality assessment and quality management and looking at auditing, et cetera, is really fundamental. So we were very lucky a few years ago, we got to get, some of us got together in Cairo and we wrote the Cairo consensus document on the lab environment. And that's gonna be a fundamental part of this. And you can see, we've got this excellent faculty here talking about everything you would need to understand. Now for modules one to four, we also have a lab book, um, that you, a log book that you can record. It's, a, it's an optional log book. You can use it and learn from it, but you can also record some of the procedures that you do so that this will help you gain the full certificate, which I'll come on to at the end. And also within all of these modules, we have been running live webinars. We did quite a few in 2020 during lockdown and 2021, and we've put these also included in the module. And throughout this course now, we will be doing regular live um, webinars. We think that interaction is really important. Module five is about new technology. And again, I won't go through all the talks, but here's our wonderful faculty. Um, great to have, uh, Saga was one of my first ever MSc students back in uh, 1996. And we've got many other world leaders here talking about these key aspects of um, new technology and ethical considerations. Then module six moves on to the clinical aspects. And I've got together some of my dear clinical friends who will tell us what they do and what they look at and help us understand the clinical aspects. Then we move on to cometogenesis and pre-implantation development. Really important for us to understand this. When I run my MSc, this is one of the first modules. Really important to understand the basics of oogenesis, spermatogenesis and pre-implantation development. And I'm sure you can see here from the faculty, we have got a wonderful team together to give you these lectures. And last but not least, our final modules on reproductive health. I have just written a book called um, Your Fertile Years, and I cover reproductive health uh, from, the, from puberty to the menopause. And we cover, I cover all of these topics within my book. And this is a really important part that um, I'm teaching in schools and in the workplace. And I think it's really important for embryologists to understand all of these concepts. And again, a brilliant faculty um, are delivering these talks. So how the modules work is that you register for the module and then you will get a welcome and introduction. And I hope to network those people doing the course. So um, you have an option to tell people who you are and to be very interactive within, within the modules. And for each lecture, we start with the aims of the lecture, the bio of the speaker, a written outline of the talk, a video of the talk, and then I will pose a question to you that is optional. You can interact with that question or answer any, or ask any questions, just really to get the discussion going. And then we give you some references, which includes some key references. And for the key references, we have put the web link in, so you can just click on that and get right through to the publication. Now, ideally you would watch the talks in order. We have put all of the talks in a logical order, but you can move between the system um, however you want to. 
And at the end of the module, we will ask for feedback. It's really important for us to hear from you. Tell us what you think. Have we missed anything out? Um, did you learn some new concepts? And then we can help, always help improve what we do. And as I've said, we've got this optional logbook for modules one to four. All of the modules have an optional exam. So you can just um, do listen to the talks and, and that's all. But if you want to, you can take the exam and then you will get a certificate saying, uh, hopefully if you pass the exam, and then at the end, you can take the full certificate in clinical embryology where we would, there's, there's two options. We do one without the logbook if you're not working in an IVF lab at the moment. So that would say that it's not including the logbook. But for those that do the logbook and pass all the exams as well, then we, you would get the full certificate in clinical embryology. And as I said, we are now with the new system going to do regular webinars. And we're starting this in June, 2022 with module three on pre-implantation genetic testing. We have a live webinar on the 1st of June, and we ha uh, have one on the 29th of June with Dagan Wells and Roy Nadja. And we're going to give all the students an opportunity to question us um, uh, about key topics that have come up and discuss some of the controversial issues as well. So I just want to quickly uh, show you how the module works online. So just to say again, if, if you're doing the full certificate, logbook, module exams, and the exit exam is a 3000 word essay about one of the techniques in the lab. And you're going to tell us about that technique and any evidence to show that it's a, a valid technique or not. And we're going to ask you to video yourself or get, get a colleague to video you doing some of the key lab techniques and for you to talk us through how you do that so that we can see how you're doing on that um, basis. I'll just give you my our contact details. Um, how to register for the course will be in the description of this lecture. So there'll be links there. So if you would like to register, then please click on those links. Now, I just want to get the technology going and show you how the system actually works. So this is how it looks. This is um, our, uh, one of our modules. So you have this train line system. This is actually module one. You can see all the talks here. And then you can just click on the area you want to be. So let's go for the introduction. You see the aims of this lecture. And then you see some outline. I haven't written, I haven't written my bio because I think you know who I am. Uh, then we have the video of the talk here. You just click on that. And then there's some questions. Then we have the references. You can see here, you can click straight through. And then this one, we also have a demo, which is the introduction of, uh, of the lab that we did in Alpesh's lab. And then again, we've got some questions. So you just click on the um, logo to get back. And then you can see all the other talks. And then finally, at the end, we will see <clears throat> The feedback, you just click through to the feedback and it's a totally anonymous feedback. And then you have all the modules with the links of how to register for the next modules. So because we've built this on our new platform, we have a special introductory price at the moment of the modules being just 100 pounds. You can pay with any credit card. When you click on the enrollment key, it will take you to the payment page. And we really hope this is going to be a much improved, fantastic way for embryologists to learn the theory of what they need to do for the IVF lab. So thank you very much. If you've got any questions, please contact me. Please follow us on social media. Um, I'm at Prof Joyce Harper. And then we've also got at Embryology 101 on Twitter, which is specifically things to do with the Academy. So we look forward to hearing from you and we look forward to uh, talking together and to educating. Thank you very much.